With Father's Day is approaching, we now turn to raising families. Research shows children are more likely to thrive when their father is present in their lives. Author Justin Early says the question for many Christian dads is not just being there for their children, but how they do it. As CBN's Heather Sells reports, he emphasizes the importance of creating good habits. If you're a young Christian parent struggling with discipline, I have a habit I want to share with you. In raising their four boys, attorney Justin Early and his wife say the heart of parenting lies within that major area. Our habits of the household are one of the most significant parts of our children's spiritual formation. In his book, Habits of the Household, Early makes the case that parents' routines can either point their kids to God or turn them away. They include the daily rhythms of waking up and going to bed, meals, discipline, and conversation. All of these things are just ways to look and see that the ordinary moments of our day with kids are some of the most extraordinary moments for their spiritual formation. Early uses his book and social media platforms to share ways to intentionally think through daily routines and focus on what's important, like mealtime. The busy schedule is not the center of gravity of the household. The table should be the center of gravity because that means community is the center of gravity. No devices and asking simple, specific questions of everyone can encourage better communication. At bedtime, he advocates habitual prayers or blessings for children. And in the morning, he emphasizes prayer first for the parents. Early's number one habit to recommend. Learn to put your phone away for at least an hour every single day. He puts his in a box by the front door right when he gets home from work. The idea that I'm around my kids but not with them because I'm distracted by my screen, I think is one of the major threats to so many dads and their children right now. Early maintains our theology and faith make themselves known through the regular rhythms of life and they powerfully influence our children, whether we're paying attention or not. Heather Sells, CBN News. Some good practical advice. Happy Father's Day, Gordon. Uh, happy Father's Day to you. And, and in this, I'm remembering the habits of my own father that I grew up with. I'd come down to get ready to go to, to school, and I would always find him already praying. Uh, and he would sometimes be on his knees and sometimes just sitting in a chair with an open Bible. But he spent every morning in prayer and it was a, a habit that impressed itself on all of us as children. I think there's also much to, to learn from Jewish families, the importance of Shabbat, the importance of that Shabbat dinner, and, and then the, the day of rest where you abstain from things like cell phones and from work and from shopping and the busyness of modern life. And you just spend time together. And in that, there are rituals that where the, the youngest is always included in the conversation and each child is, is allowed to have discussions, sometimes very spirited discussions, but still discussions. And in that, you form the basis of family. They've been remarkably successful in generational transfers, forging links to the next generation. There's a whole lot to learn there. So uh, add a Shabbat to, to your, your practice. When I was growing up, we'd call it Sunday supper. And so we go to church in the morning and things would be cooking in the oven and we come home and have a real big meal and talk together. Um, these things are very important and it forms family.